YouTube viewers, what's happening? What's happening? Welcome back to the channel, fellow with firearms. I want to appreciate all you guys who continues continuously support the platform, supporting the channel by joining that membership. Appreciate all you guys who have purchased the book. And if you haven't purchased the book, latest release was this book here for the Southeast region. Covers Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? It, it covers all those states in detail and many more. It still has the chart in there for every state. Go get that book, man. Click the link above or go check out Lulu Publishing where you can find it. It might even be on Amazon today. But uh, today we're here to talk about Wisconsin. You know, I had a, a a prominent figure, you know, say they needed some information for Wisconsin. I, I told them I was going to get it done probably about a week ago, man. Sorry, it's long overdue, but I am here now. So let's tackle Wisconsin. Wisconsin, firearms. Can you have your gun rights back as a convicted felon? According to the Wisconsin State Code, 941.29 section 1 a through b it says a person convicted of a felony may not possess a firearm but then it says according to 941.29 section 5 firearm rights are restored only by governor's pardon so wisconsin the only way you can have them restored is only by a governor's pardon, and that's according to Code 941.295. Who has the authority? Again, there's more information about it. The governor has the executive power to pardon, except in cases of treason and impeachment, subject to such regulations as may be provided by the law relative to the manner for applying for a pardon. Um, a person must have completed their sentence five years ago having no intervening convictions and no pending charges this criteria may not be waived so they don't have i guess like here in virginia you have the uh the you have an opportunity to appeal the decision and they can you know consider it based on circumstances wisconsin no five years must have passed and you cannot have no more convictions, meaning no negative. I'm going to even go and say no negative encounters, no intervening convictions and no pending charges. This will not be waived. Pardon is only available to a person convicted of felonies under Wisconsin law and not to be and not to misdemeanors or out of state or federal offenders so if you have a federal offense go back you know into my channel and look at the dc and federal offender video or either purchase one of the books off amazon or off lulu either or of the felon felon gun right restoration books has the information for federal offenders so um, once you have your pardon in, the effect of the pardon is the pardon restores rights and privileges lost as a result of conviction, relieves legal disabilities, and signals rehabilitation, but does not expunge or seal. So do not think that this is an expungement or sealing. It's just forgiveness. But key component here, gun rights are restored unless... The conviction was for a domestic violent misdemeanor. Those convicted of a felony involving possession of a firearm must receive a pardon for both the underlying felony conviction and the firearm possession conviction in order to regain gun rights. So, again, for I'm going I'm to I'm double back on this domestic violent misdemeanor. For those of you guys who are looking for relief... It's the federal process. Go look at the federal video. Go to the go to the website. You know, read through the document that's posted, or either purchase the book. Because if you have a um, domestic misdemeanor on the federal application, there is a slot for you to put that you have, you know, a domestic violence, and that's what you're seeking relief for. So go check that out. 
and you know it's going to be certain documents that's going to be required where can you obtain these documents contact the clerk of the you should contact the clerk the clerk of the courts criminal records division in the county of which your conviction is um what if the clerk cannot find copies of the requested document ask the clerk to mail a letter explaining that the records have been lost slash destroyed to the office of the governor and there's the address must your application be notarized yes you must have the application signed and stamped by a licensed notary to public notaries can typically be found at banks post office and courthouses they got this new thing called remote notarization too i never knew about that and again for those interested in the book booyah the link is right there but let's get over to the um the actual pardon application so you guys can see what it looked like and i'm also going to include the link so that you guys can have access to this and matter of fact let me copy and paste that now so that i can add it state of wisconsin pardon application I ain't gonna read over all this. Y'all can do that, but I am gonna touch key components. Eligibility is very important. You are eligible for a pardon only if all of the following conditions up, apply to you. You are seeking a pardon for a Wisconsin felony conviction. It has been at least five years since you finished your criminal sentence. This means completed all confinement, and completed all supervision release probation parole extended supervision you do not have any have any pending criminal cases or charges and you are not currently registered as a sex offender directions you must answer each question in the application ineligible or incomplete applications will be rejected so answer them fully and Electronic submissions will not be accepted, so after you fill this out, you have to mail it to this address here. Don't forget that. Before you submit your application, make a copy of it for your own records. You must let the Pardon Advisory Board know if your contact information changes. And after submission, if your application is found to be eligible or complete, you may be scheduled for a hearing before the Parole Advisory Board. At the hearing, you will have approximately 15 minutes to answer questions about your offense, how your sentence went, what have you done since the completion of your sentence, and why you think you should receive a pardon. The hearings are open to the public and often screened online. Your application will be forwarded to the governor for consideration if the majority of the board members recommends your pardon. And this was last revised last year, so you see this is a recent application. Um, due to high demand, please be aware that it may take over a year for your action on your application. That is perfectly fine. Get it in. So, let's talk about what they're going to ask for. Of course, you know, your typical demographic information. Name, place of birth, social security number, gender, mail and address, home address, date of birth, the typical things, nicknames, criminal history, um, list each crime for which you are seeking a pardon. Felony convictions, unless you're, you have a misdemeanor, that's a disqualifying offense, but typically just federal offenses. Um, what else? For each crime listed above, attach a certified copy, the criminal complaint, the information and the judgment of your conviction so yes you need to contact the clerk of the criminal court in where you were convicted in order to get that information um let's see what else were you ordered to pay fines and restitution for your crimes please please have that stuff paid in full have you ever applied for a pardon before if so when what was the decision they ask, except for the crimes listed above, for question two and four, have you had any other interactions with law enforcement? This includes arrests that did not lead to any charges, deferred judgment, criminal charges that were later dropped or dismissed, or instance where you have been subject to criminal investigation. And 
I see this in every video. Negative encounters. They shouldn't judge you on them, but they do. So do your best to stay out the way. Stay out the way. Stay from around the way. All that. No way. Have, has anyone ever gotten a restraining order, order of protection against you? Grounds for pardon. This is this is your bread and butter right here. In your own words, describe in detail the crimes for which you are seeking a pardon. Explain what happened, why you committed the crime, and any other information you believe the pardon advisory board should consider related to the criminal activity. Wait a minute, that is not where you plead your case. I apologize about that. They want to know about, they want to know your perspective, your point of view, what happened. Here we are, 10. Describe the specific reason why you want or need a pardon. This includes whether the pardon is necessary for a specific occupation, license, or professional reason. Attach any additional pages if necessary. So, 10, 11. Describe any reasons why the pardon should be granted. This includes the length of time since conviction, the lack of subsequent criminal contact, personal development, growth. This is your bread and butter right here. This is where you show and prove. This is all your accolades, all your accomplishments, all your certifications, all the community service, um, anything that you got that show you've been proactive and productive. This is where you slap them in the face, make yourself look good, man. And, you know, employment history. Notice of application and part application, you know, background authorization, you know, the just man and application checklist. Okay, they got a checklist for you so you can know what documents you need. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, man. And then at the very bottom, mail your completed application to the below address. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up there. You know, the rest of this stuff you guys can read over on your own time. I just wanted to point you in the right direction so that you can know that this information is out there. And you ain't got to pay no attorney, no same $1,000. Uh, it can be done yourself, man. So, I'm going to get this up there. I'm going to get this out there. Y'all put in the work and keep me posted. Big fella, checking out.